there, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Chad with CD Shave. Thank you very much for joining me for today's head shave and product profiling. Well, it's actually not really a profiling per se. This is just a, uh, whenever I do a sample in a shave series, it's all it is. It's I've got a sample that I've been sitting on or that somebody sent me that I want to try. Um, I don't know, you know, it's one of those things where I just, I don't really profile a product. I shave with what it is. And if it's a great product, it is. If it's not, it's not. And I say what I think about it. We'll throw a little bit of water on my head here. Because the air is a little dry in my house today, so I don't want it to dry out while I'm yapping away. But we get into that. Happy St. Patrick's Day, ladies and gentlemen. It is the holiday of the day from CD Shaven. Uh, it's holiday of the day for everywhere. Well, at least in America. I don't know about the other countries. But it is happy St. Patrick's Day today. Now, as far as the product that we're revealing, or not revealing, that we're using today, it's called Almond Leather. This is a sample that was provided to me by Mr. DK Dan Fine Shave. Thank you, sir. And this is by uh, Mammoth Soapworks. Now, Mammoth Soapworks is owned by Ben Esposito. He's been doing it since around 2014. I know that's when he's been doing the soap thing. When he got into the shaving business was shortly after that, I believe. But I know he's been doing the soap thing since 2014. Uh, this is a towel-based uh, shave soap. It comes in a four ounce container when you buy the full tub. Uh, it comes in a plastic container with a, uh, an elephant or excuse me, a woolly mammoth on the front of it. Uh, it's a screw top lid, waterproof label. And um, yeah, so that, that's how the product comes uh, in, in this particular instance. I've used uh, Mammoth Soap Works before. I've used um, a sample that he gave me. I've used, uh, he also did a, a kryptonite release. Uh, that, was, that was released a while ago. I still have some of that. I, I use that as well. He's great performance soaps, as far as I'm concerned. I haven't used any of this stuff, any of the mainstream stuff, um, though. However, so I'm kind of excited to give this stuff a shot. The scent, you definitely pick up almond, but it's very uh, the 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 leather kind of takes it over. Almond just kind of hits you in the beginning. You're like, oh, an almond scent, and then the leather kicks in. So it's but having said that, um, it's a rather heavy scent, which is good. And it, but with me, I've noticed with a lot of leather scents, they tend to be heavier um, than than others, uh, which is why I tend to flock to uh, leather scents. So um, the notes in this are orange blossom, almond, frankincense, and leather. And I don't really get the frankincense or the orange, really. I mostly get the almond and the leather, which is great um, for me. The, the thing about Ben is uh, he do, for every uh, soap that he sells, I believe it goes for the aftershave too, but don't quote me on that. But I know with the soaps, a dollar of it goes towards uh, an organization called, um, uh, it goes towards, oh, love146.org. Sorry, I had to write that down because I'm not really... I don't really know too much about the organization, but I do know it's uh, to help fight against uh, human trafficking, and that's kind of a passion between him and his wife uh, to fight uh, fighting against it. That is, and uh, that so I know a dollar from all his shave soaps go towards that. Now this soap is currently out of stock. It is available for twenty four dollars at westcoastshaving.com typically, but again, I did just last look and it was out of stock. Don't let that slay uh, you know steer you away though. I mean, he's an artisan. A lot of these, these guys are not mass produced. They don't have companies where they're just pumping out soap after soap after soap. These, these guys are making these things in their kitchen or their garage or their, or their you know, makeshift shops. Some of them have dedicated shops for this. Um, but they're still a one man operation for the most part. You know, so, you know, he'll get, he'll be in stock when he can. And that's just how it is. You know, there are plenty of other artisans out there. If you want, really want to get a shaving soap and there, he's out of stock. Plenty of other good ones out there to try. But if he is in stock and you see it, um, my recommendation based on his other stuff is uh, to try him. But that would be that. Now, uh, speaking of that, let's get into the rest of the gear. We're going to be uh, bowl lathering. I got my bowl heating up right here from RJ Clay Company. Uh, we've got Leo Frilo brush. It's got kind of a hot pink white green type of thing uh, I have a fully uh, fully green brush that I could have brought out uh, in regards to St. Patrick's Day but I decided not to do that I wanted to go with this one instead I like those small knot and this bowl is rather small so I was gonna lather right in that it is a synthetic 
not speaking of the nuts, and I believe that's a 24 millimeter. Now, to go with this, uh, as far as after the shave is concerned, I don't have the the, uh, the aftershave with it, so I'm going with Holy Cow, or Holy Cow, depending on who you are and how you say it. But uh, anyway, I think the, the latest way to say this, people, most people are saying is Holy Cow. So anyway, there it is. Project Leather. <clears throat> Doesn't have almond in it, but it has the same type of leather scent that uh, this does, and it's um, got a little bit of menthol in it, at least I, I believe it does. So anyway, um, also we're gonna be throwing on Thayer's Witch Hazel as part of the aftershave. Now, this is gonna be a head shave. None of this will be possible without the razor. So we're going with something a little different. I haven't shaved with this. Actually, I don't have any shaved with this one ever. Uh, this is actually the first time. This was a gift to me uh, by Mr. Matt Lonseth. Thank you, sir. And uh, I'm gonna be, I have shaved with gem razors in the past. This is the first time I'm going to be shaving with this particular one. It's in excellent condition. You flip the top open like so. We're going to drop a blade in it. And yes, this is a gem blade. You can see it right there. Do not go to your local Home Depot or Home Goods store. Grab a utility blade and put it in here. I've not done that, but from what I hear, that's bad. Because those are way different quality of blades. They're just differently made. They're not meant for shaving. And I just, I just heard all kinds of bad things can happen. So don't do that. Get the ones that are made for shaving. Uh, and this is what I'm going to do here. This type of razor is a little bit different for those of you that never used one of these. You don't want to shave. If we're talking about the face like this, it shaves like this. Okay? So you don't want to be doing the whole, oh, well, I go 30 degrees, right? No, you really want to go flat against the face and then angle it out just enough to catch the, the hairs as you go down. We are doing a head shave. So it's going to be a little bit more difficult. But that's what we're going to do on this today. So that's the gear. Let's take the bowl out of here. Take a little bit of this sample. About that much. It's probably, I don't know if that, that'll probably be enough. I'm going to smear it around the bowl a little bit. This bowl is wet and hot, just like we like it. There you go. That's what it is right there. Wet the brush. Take the sample and put the rest of it aside for another day. I'm gonna take my razor, which is now loaded with the blade, put it in the water, because I like a warm razor. Some people don't. I've heard this thing lately, people mention, oh, you know, uh, um, Oop, that's a little bit too much water. Uh, some people have said things like uh, cold razor on the skin, hot lather, blah, 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 blah. I don't, I disagree. I like warm razor, warm lather, warm everything. Unless, well, unless I'm going with a menth mentholated shave, of course. And so as far as the uh, lather, as you can see, this is already starting to make a lather. I've been only hitting this for a few seconds here. So Ben's a great guy. Um, I've had a few conversations with him in the past. Uh, very down to earth, uh, very decent individual, very uh, willing to talk shaving and uh, smart. So if you ever have a chance to chat it up with him, I would, I would suggest doing so. We haven't had too many conversations with the gentleman, but the ones that I've had, I've quite enjoyed. And the lather is starting to resemble usage. Now the scent for me, about uh, a little bit, in, now that we're going a little bit into this here, has started to dissipate a little bit. Uh, for me, I like a heavier scent, but again, I have to remind myself, just like I remind all of you, this is not a cologne. So, it is what it is. Here we are. Can't tell if I've used all that shaving sample or not. Kind of would like to, because 
I got a pretty hefty sample, thank you, sir. So I really don't want to skimp on that. All right, well, there's the lather. It's a little bit bubbly, um, but that will that will dissipate as I put it, apply it to the dome. That aside, speaking of the dome, a little water up here. Not too much because this head, my head's pretty well hydrated. Let's go into this, to the head lather here. Now, those of you that may or may not know, uh, my head, my sample and the shaves are usually full length shave videos um, as opposed to a profiling. Profiling is usually me just telling you what the soap is. It is what it is. Um, this stuff here, sample and a shave, is pretty raw. There's not a whole lot of editing here. It's it's basically I'm recording it and putting it on here. I'm saying what it is. You know, I, if I don't like the soap, I'm not going to like it. Now on a profiling, I do the same within reason. You know, I do. You know, I. I I want to say what the soap is because I want to give it a there are, I want to give it a fair shot, meaning that there are people out there that will enjoy the soap even though I, I didn't or may or I may not have. So with the profiling, I put you know a lot of stuff. Hey, this is what the artisan claims. This is what it is, and you know I may put my two cents in here and there, but I'm not really there for that. I'm mostly there on profiling to kind of say, hey, look at what's out there. Look what I found or look look what I got and hey, this is what it is. Give it a shot. See it to let me know what you think. All right, here we go. As far as these razors are concerned, I have to be careful because I tend, I don't shave with these very often because I tend to cut myself a lot with these things. And maybe it's me. Wow. I will say though, the, the slickness on this stuff is, now this is his main, not, not to change gears here, but um, his, his stuff, like I said, I've, I haven't tried his mainstream stuff. And uh, it, it's definitely not disappointing. This is just like the, the samples and other things that I've received when he was testing and yeah good stuff all right uh but anyway so these razors i tend to cut myself on and the the reason i do that is because a lot of times the corners of those blades where those knobs are sometimes protrude out and i end up getting myself with those the corners of the blades you know as i turn or whatever And uh, it's not a good time. I used to shave with them all the time, the gems, and then I started doing that for some reason. I just, I don't know what the deal was. I just started really, really scratching the heck out of myself with them. And, uh, So I wanted to touch on something while I'm doing this, is that I saw a recent video by Chris Bailey where he, I haven't had a chance to talk to him about this yet, but somebody had, I'm assuming people gave him a hard time about his facial growth because he, he said, you know, oh, so before we can, you know, let's put some of these comments to rest and he's, and he's on his last, one of his last videos and he said, uh. Here's the picture of my my facial growth up close, and he you know he, he rolled it in, and I thought to myself you know I'm wondering if people gave him a hard time saying that he didn't look like he had a lot of growth, and it wouldn't surprise me not because I don't think he does, but oh yeah there's residual slickness there all day long, 
I like it. Anyway, uh, so and the scent is there, but it's very, very light. Anyway, so I, I heard, I, I saw that, and I thought to myself, I wonder if he's given, you know, if anybody's given him a hard time with that. Because I've had a couple people say things to me. I had one in particular, I want to say like 10 videos ago I did, or something like that. It was a while ago. Somebody put on there, and they said something to the effect of, you know, hey, no offense, but you don't have any facial growth. You guys got to understand, for those of you that don't do videos, I mean, take a picture of your face with your phone before you shave. And I mean from here, not from here, from here. And you'll see whether it's your head or your face, unless you have a really high quality camera, I guess, which I don't, it, it's not always easily seen. And I assure you, I'm not putting a blade across my head or my face without any growth. Um, I would shave every single day, both my head and my face, if I had time. The bottom line is, is I don't, and my head shaves go way quicker than my face ones do. So I don't get to shave my face every day. I'd usually do that about every other day or so. Um, but I certainly would if I could. And, you know, with my job, I, I, I can't really get away with shaving. I can't really get away with waiting for three days. Sometimes I can. It depends on the circumstances. But... Either way, um, my point being is, before you say something about somebody on you on YouTube or in a picture or whatever saying, oh, I don't see any facial growth, think about that statement. Especially with, I mean, cameras, there's so many, cameras are designed now to make you look good, even when you do not. You know, they, they smooth out skin imperfections, there's programs out there and some of these cameras have settings in them that automatic you can turn it on and off where they automatically do that for you and um, so it smooths your skin out within reason obviously they're not going to remove a crater or a six inch gash but you know it, it can smooth out blemishes and imperfections and stuff like that using using software using you know algorithms and stuff that they have in there um, and with me, I know that it, I've seen it do it. You know, I, I'll have tons of growth and I'll take a picture and you might see, it looks like I got a five o'clock shadow and I've actually, you know, had been growing hair for like three days. And a lot of people don't quite understand that or they don't take that into account and they're quick to say, well, you don't have... You look like you have, you're shaving without any facial hair. Well, I don't know. I mean, I'm sure there are people out there that have done that. I am not one of them. I don't need to. I, I mean, I can, I, can lit I could shave twice a day if my skin permitted it, you know, if it wasn't sensitive. But um, I, I just, I don't, but I could. So believe me when I tell you, um, the facial hair is there. The other thing I wanted to touch on, actually I wanted to say thank you, because his video reminded me of something. Um, I wanted to say thank you to everybody that sends me the samples and sends me, you know, things to try and, and you know, razors to try. I've tried a couple razors and brushes over the years. You know, without that, I wouldn't be able to do this because I am certainly not loaded. And people do not send me things for free once in a great while I, I'll get something but for the most part I pay for the things that I use and uh, this is a nice this is actually a really nice razor I like this um, so having said that there are some things I, I just I can't try or that I just you know there it, it's it's hard to find that balance between dropping your money for your stuff for your channel and stuff that you re, that you want for you or stuff that you think people want to see so you look at that and you say well you know I think people really want to see a review on X Y and Z but I really want to get this particular one instead for myself so you have to find that fine line between dropping money on the stuff that you want for yourself and the stuff that you want that you think your viewers want to see. So it, it helps a lot when people send you samples. 
because you get to be able to do things like this that I'm doing right now. Uh, I don't, not that I wouldn't buy Mammoth soap. I actually, I would because I like Ben and I, and I do like his soaps, um, the, the ones that I've tried. And this is really nice. I like this one a lot. But, you know, that my wife has recently, well, I say recently, within the last year, it's recently to me, gotten into wet shaving. So I'm helping her with building her stash. <laughs> so, you know, it, it, it's just one of those things that I, I, you know, I have to, I have to pick and choose. And, and when, without you guys, you know, fire me a couple of samples. I, and I've had Jeremy York do it. I've had, I think I've had Chad, Chad Irish send me samples before. I've had, all, you know, uh, all kinds of people send, you know, send me things. Hey, not full tubs. They're just like, Hey, try this. Tell, tell me what you think. Hey, you know, I've used this, I've used that. Hey, what, have you ever used this? No, I haven't. You know, like Mitchell's Wolf ad. I've never, I've never actually used that. Um, I, I hear it's really decent, but I, I've never, I never tried it. Just because I, you know, I have other things I want to spend my money on. It's not something that I'm jumping out to grab. Not that it's expensive, but again, I have to, I can't buy everything. So, um, it's without you guys being able to do or doing what you're doing sometimes with sending us stuff. It, we wouldn't be able to do these and uh, or at least not as often and you know like Chris I have stuff that that's piled up right now I there's a bunch of samples that I have from three different people that I want to get to um, <clears throat> to do these these sample in a shave videos which is great you guys have been awesome at supporting that um, but you know I just haven't, I haven't had time to do it yet. And videos take time. That was the other thing. The great point that he made is, you know, videos are not, you know, it's, you can't just point and shoot and call it done. You know, for, for a half an hour video, it takes my, my stuff quite a long time to upload it. It takes a good 20 minutes or so at least. And that, that's assuming I don't put a lot of extras into it, which I tend to do that. I put an intro and everything else. And, uh, and the, the sample and shave videos are probably the least edited, but they take the most time to upload because they're, they're long or longer, I should say. So sometimes I do feel bad when I'm looking at things. And I'm saying, well, I really want to get to this, and I try to. I try to do it in order that I get it, and you know, I take other circumstances into into account as well. Man, this stuff is nice. But you know, we do we as 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 uh, as YouTubers, we do the best we can in that regard. At least I do. Um, Man, that's nice. That's nice. Let's uh, let's see how much is left in the in the brush and see what kind of condition it's in. Well, that's pretty decent. I mean, yeah, look at that. Look at the peaks on that. It's still holding pretty good. That's decent. I'm gonna throw that up there and just kind of do a little bit of a check. See what we can do for just a cleanup pass here. I don't really, I don't expect I'll have much left. This thing, this thing's shaped pretty good. I got a little bit of a rough spot here. This is a really nice razor. I'm actually a little upset with myself that I haven't tried it until now because I've had this for a while. And it's in great condition. Man, there is residual slickness on this stuff all day long. All day long, figuratively, of course. Yeah, this is nice. All 
All right. All right, let's take a, this is what's left of the bowl. Just gonna dunk it real quick to get some of the stuff out and see, see what's left. Yep, I, there was, a, there was a little bit right there, but I think it's just, yeah, it's, there's not, I, I used that entire piece. So that, so as you can see, that's the amount of lather I got out of that amount. Pretty decent, I mean, you saw I did, what, I did five passes. You know, with including my cleanup pass, because that's what I do. Let's dry the hair a little bit, or the, excuse me, the head. Throw a little bit of cold water on it here. All right. There's. All right, well, we're letting that sit. So as far as the slickness is concerned, it, it's fantastic. Uh, he, this guy definitely nailed it as far as residual slickness. Residual slickness is a big deal to me because that almost always tells me how the post shave is gonna end up being. There's no residual slickness and I do nothing else other than some aftershave. My skin's always very dry and sometimes very, very tight. Um, and that's not because it, it, if, I, if I have good residual slickness, I almost never have that problem. So, there's still a little bit of roughness in the back, believe it or not. You wouldn't think so with the amount of passes I did, but there is. Whatever. I'm not going to spend all day buffing it. So, uh, uh, the, it, the density was there. I mean, you could see it was definitely had peaks in it. The, uh, the, the cushion, I can tell you, was there. Residual slickness was there. The scent, I'd say, was probably about, I'd give it like a three or a four for me. Very, very, because it's kind of on the lighter side. Wasn't bad, just on the lighter side throughout the shave. In the beginning, it was a heavier scent. As soon as I smelled it off the off the sample, started lathering it up, it was it was heavy. As, the, as it went on, the scent really kind of died off. Not a huge deal. Still a wonderful shave. I would absolutely use that, uh, that scent. Um, he's got a couple different ones that are out there, but... Um, I definitely would enjoy, I, I would consider buying a puck of this if I saw it available. Um, that's the thing is getting it when they're available. It can be tough to do, but that's all right. Uh, as far as the use of load, I didn't have any problem loading it. I mean, it took me not very, no, it took me under a minute anyway to get a decent lather in there, I believe. So let's throw on some aftershave because this is all pretty much dry from the witch hazel. Yeah, that's nice. Now I can't speak to the aftershave from Mammoth. I, I don't think I've ever actually tried any of his uh, aftershave stuff at all, sample or otherwise. So, um, I hear they're decent, but there's that. Uh, that pretty much takes care of it. I think I've gotten uh, covered everything for this particular shave. I just gotta clean up and uh, Put everything away so having said that thank you very much for staying with me for this video i appreciate any questions or comments you put in the section below about this soap or any of my soaps if you haven't subscribed please do so make sure you knock that bell that way you get a notification every time we do a new video here at cd shaven if you like this video give it a thumbs up other than that thank you very much for watching happy saint patrick's day and we'll see you guys and girls in the next video